Hello everyone, welcome to another day in Shroud of the Avatar, and today I'm in game with Scarface, and we're looking into the brewing in the game. Now in the first video we got all of our ingredients and our seeds, and if you need that video you should see a card in the top right hand corner. And then in the second video we actually made our casks. So, and if you need that one again, the card should be appearing in the top right hand corner. And in this video we're actually going to be looking into the, looking into the brewing and the casking of your alcohol. Now, if you want to make all of the different types of alcohol in the game, you'll need some barley, some hops, some red grapes, some white grapes and some wheat. And then from the cooking merchants you can get sacks of sugar and yeast culture and you'll also need to draw some water from the wells in the game or buy them. And now we've got all of that we will go to our cooking station and from your drop down menu if you go brewing components you should just have the brewing recipes in there. And we'll have a quick run through You've got the different years of whiskies. The 25 year whisky um, takes 30 barley, some yeast, and some water. Um, and you've got the 7 year whisky, which again takes 30, just takes a little bit less yeast, and the 2 year just takes 2 yeast. And then you've got the beer recipes, or the standard beer recipes in the game which for Brittany Ale you just need barley and hops, yeast culture and water and barley then for Drac Brock beer barley, hops, yeast culture and then finally for the harvest wheat beer barley, wheat, hops and yeast culture so this one's obviously much of a stronger one and then for the two wines you need of course white grapes, sacks of sugar in jars of yeast and red grapes and sacks of sugar all the wine. Now for my case I've got a beer cask so I need to make a beer so I will just make some Brittany Ale ingredients. So we're just going to double click on it so the inventory fills over here and then craft one. And then we actually have our Brittany Ale ingredients. Now once you've got your ingredients together um, for whatever type of alcohol you're doing, whether it's the spirit whiskey or if it's the wine, they will come out with their own named ingredients. You will need to cast them. So if you use the drop down menu and click on craft casks, you can see that the top one for me is already available. So we've got the beer cask and the Brittany Ale ingredients. If we were doing wine or spirits, those would be these ones. And of course, wines would be these ones. So you just double click. Then you've got your beer cask and your ale ingredients. And then we craft it up. And we finally now have our beer all cast up and it now has a maturing clock and depending on the alcohol it will depend on how long it takes to actually mature. So let's go down to where I'm putting my casks in the game and see some casks that I've already done and we'll quickly place this cask on the ground now if you look on the sides of the casks you actually get a nice symbol to say that what type of alcohol it is. So you've got wine and then you get a nice spirit cask down there and the beer is on that side. Now when it is brewing it will not have a tap on it and it will tell you how long it is before it is going to mature. So when you're beer, wine or whiskey is maturing, of course it has a nice clock on there to let you know when it's becoming available to you 
and then when it's finished a tap will appear on one side and then you can just double click on it and you can draw your desired drink from the cask. Now once you've emptied the cask you can reuse the cask so you don't have to keep on making loads of casks but you do have to remake of course the ingredients to go in the casks. So that is brewing in the game and this is just the first iteration of brewing in the game so they will be going further with this and I will make this playlist longer as newer recipes come out. So I hope you found this video helpful and informative and don't forget you can subscribe to me on YouTube or follow me on Twitch or feel free to leave any comments in the comments area and I will get back to you and thank you for watching.